Hi YouTubers, it's Smokesy, uh, Sensei on the face for you today. Some of the garage again for another bulk pet truck review. It's going to be this tobacco right here, okay, right here. And let's start reviewing it. It's going to be Lane Limited, Lane Limited, sorry, HGL. Blended by Lane Limited it is an American slash Latakia blend. It is manufactured by Lane Limited. It contains Burley, Cavendish, and Latakia in Virginia. It has no added flavorings. It's a ribbon cut. It's a bulk packaging. It's produced in the United States. It is currently available from Pipes and Cigars and SmokingPipes.com. Okay. So another English or Latakia based blend to review. Let's um, start reviewing it. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a false light. Okay, where to my should do it? Okay, one will I should do it? Sorry, use my colostomy. Um, okay, so I got a light lid. Car going by. Yeah. Okay, so I um initially for taste and flavor. Typical Latakia taste. Uh, very smoky, very rich. Definitely has that very smoky campfire taste. That's very typical of Latakia buns, English buns. Definitely rich. Has a very nice um, charcoal or a campfire taste to it. So yeah. I definitely taste the Virginias also. Definitely has a little bit of a sweetness from the Virginias. Um, I haven't smoked a lot of Kia in a long time, so it's been quite a while since, since I smoked a lot of Kia. A little bit of like an aromatic taste, a little bit of that, of that um, sweetness, um, perfumey taste. I would say it's um, medium bodied right now, so not a very strong English blend or Latakia based blend, but definitely has that good flavor to it. Definitely more, I can taste definitely more of the Virginias. Uh, not super strong. But definitely has a very nice um, Virginia taste to it. Also, the Latakia is also pr predominant in the bowl. Pretty sweet English blend. I would say for an English or a Latakia based blend, it's um, very sweet. Um, definitely more milder, more mild to medium, medium bodied as opposed to darker, earthier, heavier, richer. Trying to keep the pipe in my mouth. So, I've had a pretty, um, pretty good day overall. Um, and I go to work tomorrow. I work um, tomorrow night from 6 to 9 at the grocery store. Um, tonight was kind of a little bit hectic with me. I'm not going to get into details about it, but, um, let's just say I had a kind of a rough night tonight, but I am, um, more in the mood 
than I was a couple hours ago. Just have some personal things going on in my life that I'm um, not going to really discuss, but I am going to say that I kind of um, feel a little bit upset right now, but not upset enough not to do a review. Definitely good tobacco. Definitely has a very distinct English taste. Also has... Um, a very nice sweet Virginia taste. The burley is also detectable. The Cavendish. That could also be the Cavendish. I think it's also the Cavendish I'm tasting. That sweet artificial taste. No bite. Um, despite having burley, Cavendish, and Virginia, there's no tongue bite. No irritation to the tongue or the mouth. So... It did say in the uh, review on TobaccoReviews.com, which is my reference always, it's very slow burning, so I'm very curious to see how much I get out of it in this little corn cob pipe. Very smooth. Definitely has a smooth taste. Uh, pretty smooth, cool burning taste. Pipe is not too hot, um, unlike some aromatics I reviewed recently, which the pipe gets so hot it actually burns the side of my cheek. Not to the point where you have blisters, but it does, um, it does burn the side of my cheek a little bit. So, a little bit of like a dry taste. Definitely has a detectable smoky taste. I would classify this as a very mild English blend, or Latakia-based blend, or it's technically called an Amer American blend, but I would say it's probably pretty mild. It is mild, so not your Nightcap by Dunhill, not your uh, Durby by Dunhill, Northwoods by Boswell, Arsons blend, where it's very full-bodied. Maybe like a little bit of a tangy taste, a little bit like a tangy, uh, sweet, fruity taste. In a lot of ways, it's more of an aromatic. It's actually more similar to a Virginia or a, a kind of like a mild aromatic than a English blend. The Latakia has kind of died out. I'm not tasting much Latakia now. Pretty decent throat hit. Um, not um, super strong on the back of my throat, but not super mild. Definitely has a nice throat hit to it. Pretty easy to, to retrohale for my nose. So, I guess I'll make this a pretty short video. I am kind of upset right now, so I'm not going to go into details. But I am kind of still a little bit uh, tense right now about something, so I'll probably make this a pretty short video. So let's get into the ratings of this. I've uh, smoked probably the better half of a bowl, so I know a lot of my subscribers have been saying you don't have to smoke the whole bowl on camera, you can smoke like um, three quarters and whatever, so and I am feeling a little bit tense right now, so that's why I'm going to do that. Uh, the strength is mild. Typical Latakia blend with no strength because Latakia has virtually no nicotine. Um, let me just tamp this down. The taste and body, I would say the taste and body is medium, mild to medium. Definitely a very mild English or Latakia based blend. The flavor, there's no flavors added, so it's just a good flavor. The flavor is smoky, rich, 
kind of a perfumey, um, more or less like a Virginia than a Latakia based blend. Not very heavy. Oh, sorry, this is my class to me. Um, the tongue bite is no tongue bite there, despite the fact that it has Cavendish and Burley and Virginia. No tongue bite, no irritation to the mouth or the tongue. The room note, again, anything with Latakia won't smell appealing. It'll smell very offensive to non-smokers. The retrohaling... Smooth, a little bit of like a pepper, a black pepper through the nose. Definitely has that um, pepper corn taste or sensation through your nose. Uh, not very peppery, but definitely has a little bit of pepper. What's the yes or comment from another pipe smoker or pipe smoker? I would say this is a very good English blend or English Latakia based blend for beginners. So if you're if you're smoking aromatics or Virginias and you want to try English blends, this would probably be a very good starter English blend. So not strong, no strength, uh, maybe a little bit of strength here at the end. This would make a fantastic this would, this would make a fantastic um starter English blend. So if you're trying, if you want to try English blends or Latakia based blends, definitely something to try. Um, very good uh, starter English blend. Overall rating, I'd probably give it a 10, maybe about a, a 7 out of 10. Eh, actually, 8 out of 10, I'd say. Definitely has a very good taste to it. So, 8 out of 10 for rating for Lane Limited HGL. Anyway, comment, like the video, share the video, subscribe, keep liking the videos, and anyway, bye.